M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Three of my favorite radios this year as we come into 2024. The Kwashang UV K5, K6, they come in all kinds of different colors and sizes, but they're all the same radio. The thing that stands out about them is the customizable firmware, and many people are doing this. And yes, this radio will do 27 megahertz USB, has a band scope, and so much more. It will go to 23 centimeters, has a broadcast radio, you can just hear it there. Not the best conditions here in my shack, I'll just turn it down. But anyway, definitely a favorite and very inexpensive. Most come with USB-C charging, just under here. Some of the Kwashang UV5R models, they have the large battery, but no USB charging. But generally you'll get these with USB-C charging. And here's one here with the big chunky battery and it was 13 or 14 pound delivered. How good is that? The other one we're looking at here is the Bofeng DM1701. They're not always called Bofengs. I think Radiodity sell one like this could be Retivist. But this, what I like about this is it comes delivered 46 pound with OpenGD77 installed. OpenGD77 can actually track satellites and it doesn't it does not need to have GPS. You connect it to the software, you load the satellite information and, and put your, your GPS location in and it works everything out for you and it gives you the, the frequencies, receive, transmit, works out all the Doppler shift and shows you when it's going to pass by and it even announces it out to you because this has voice prompts as well and of course it's just a normal DMR radio as well and you can manual dial, you just press the hash, dial, dial 91 key and you, there you are you've just manual you can now manual dial talk group 921 and a lot more it's you know ultimately it's a dual band radio we've got it in single receive at the moment very nice size taller than the rt sort of md380 type radios nice big battery on it does not have usb charging but it does come with a nice cradle charger it has two buttons which i like having volume and channel you can use the up and down arrows a full keypad, DTMF, Talk Group 91, you know, all the usual stuff. If I try and see if I can find my hotspot, get some activity. I'll leave it turned up. Hopefully someone will come through. And it does hold the whole database, even though it's advertised as a radio that holds 120,000 contacts, it will actually hold up to 300,000. The OpenGD77 people have worked so hard on this software and it does a lot more than what I've just talked about. Now, the last one, which is only a radio that I discovered this year, is the RS918. Now, there are two versions of this. I've got both versions coming for testing. This is the one that is better for firmware customization. The other version is the BS188. comes with a pre-installed battery and orange button. There goes my caution. There are many parameters that you set on this HF radio and it's from 1.8 to 28 megahertz and it, it, it is touch screen. You can touch the frequency and it will take you there. A lot easier with a stylus, I would say. Press the VFO butter button and you get bigger steps for, you know, for changing the band. touch screen for changing the SWR meter. I'm not going to demonstrate the whole radio now. I've made many videos on this radio. So as you can see, it's working fine. There, and there goes the the 1701. So there you go. I thought I'd show you these. Got a uh, unusual coloured UVK5. It's near Christmas, so happy Christmas to anyone that watches my YouTube channel. But I think you know. You think about the, the these three radios. 240 pound delivered the HF. 15 pound, 46 pound, and look what you get. You can cover digital modes, HF, and a lot more. And these are great fun as well. 
Bye for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.